Hello guys! So a couple of announcements before I start. First off, I moved to the Netherlands because I started university. So if you guys are, if there are any Dutch players that are my subscribers, you know, feel free to contact me because I'm pretty sure I don't live in Leiden and I don't really feel like disclosing where I actually live. But um, in Leiden, that's where most Dutch players gather to play in tournaments, I guess. So yeah, just announcing that. Secondly, there's the Paris qualifier for the World Championship next week. And I'll be participating in that both for Vanguard and for Buddy Fight. So if you recognize me, well, you can recognize me by this playmat because only I will have it and I will be using it. So if you see me and just contact me, just talk to me, don't be afraid. And if you recognize me, I even give you like a pack of sleeves or something. You know, you never know. I have a lot of, st of that stuff. Anyway. Getting on to this video, this is basically a little analysis of what the meta will look like from the release of BD15, which is today. So I didn't want to do this before BD15 because this set just includes so much stuff that it's going to be seen non-stop in, in Worlds. And yeah, so it's split into four tiers, God tier being the highest, then there's tier 1 after it, then tier 2, and tier 3 being the lowest. So I'll be talking about decks, well, clans slash archetypes in each tier and I'll be giving a video to each tier and I'll talk about that deck's weaknesses, strengths, how to counter it, how to, what, which are the key cards and stuff like that so you guys have a better, like, a better understanding. If, you, if you've never played against a deck, you'll know which cards to target and stuff like that. So, starting off with the god tier, I'll announce all the clans or archetypes that are in the in the tiers right now and then I'll make a separate video for each tier. So in the god tier, as the very first, I've placed Link Joker because of Omega Glandios. At first, I thought this wasn't going to be much of a threat because of how rare Omega Glandios should be, but because Blue Shroud has decided to print it as a normal triple rare, it is now going to be seen everywhere. It's going to be so common, it's insane. In Japan, it, was, it wasn't it was seen much because it was put, printed as a promo, but this is going to be... You're gonna see this card a lot, and this deck is really destructive, and I'll be talking about it in a separate video. Next up is Kagero, and there are actually two decks that actually go into the god tier. First being Dragonic Nouvelle Vague, obviously that deck is insane, it's really hard to counter. I'm actually thinking, I come up with a way basically after playtesting how to counter this thing, but it's really hard. That thing is, that thing is tough. Next up, oh, and the second Kagero deck is Overlord the Rebirth. That deck is strong. And I'll be talking about it more on, on the God Tier video. Then we have Shadow Paladin, mainly because of Drag Ruler. And then finally, we have Bermuda Triangle because duos are strong. Like, they, I'm gonna talk about why I placed them in God Tier. They, they were kind of between God Tier and Tier 1 for me, but I placed them in the last spot of God Tier because they are strong. And the next tier is Tier 1, and the one that tops it off is Aqua Force because of Maelstrom Reverse. Following that is Pale Moon with Venus Lukier. Then Genesis with Minerva, Nova Grappler with both Blau Crew, the Blau series, and also uh, Beast Deities, because both of those archetypes are really strong. Then we have Narukami, we have, well, of course, Eradicators. Then we have Gold Paladin, which, well, basically Alfred, Monarch Sanctuary Alfred. Then we have Royal Paladin with Jewel Knights, and with Royal Paladin, I, I was unsure if I should place them in Tier 1 or Tier 2, but I placed them at the bottom of Tier 1, because they are strong. They can pull off a lot of consistency, and they're just good. Next up in Tier 2, topping it off is <laughs> my lovely Dimension Police. Um, I couldn't place them higher, because they're just not getting enough support. They're not getting Kaiser Greater, which is... Well, it's not come out yet, but it should soon, I hope. And now that BD16 version E has been announced, we're not going to be seeing any the Dimension Police updates until like what, February probably? When BT17 and now I think it's released in English. Anyway, next up is Musketeers. Um, they don't have Mirka yet. That card is really important. And also the promo, which when you call it, the 7k grade 2 promo. Um, that card is really important. And then up next, there's Oracle Think Tank. Uh, mainly Magus, and then Great Nature, because Break Ride is strong. Then we have Mega Colony because this update in BD15 was really strong and made it a pretty competitive deck. Then we have Angel Feather, Murakumo, Nubatama, and Grand Blue. I was gonna place Grand Blue in Tier 3, but after seeing the Greek results, I I rethought. Anyway, Tier 3 is just two decks, which is Dark Irregulars and Spike Brothers. So Spike Brothers has, just hasn't really showed its face since, I don't know, BD10. And then Dark Irregulars just kinda happened and left. It never really picked off that much. 
So those are my tiers. If you think there are some decks that should be placed higher or lower, just tell me with your reasoning. I mean, if it's good, I'll, I'll approve it. And then... And yeah, so I'll be posting these tier videos every two or three days. So you can look forward to the first video, which will be the God tier on Sunday or Monday. And yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.